Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching for this video, my channel will support the awesome R side feature. And today I'm here with DJ Jet from Vampire Freaks. How are you doing today? Hello, pretty good. We're at the uh, Dark Side of the Con 4 amazing event. And tell everyone the work that goes into a, a festival like this. Oh, man. I mean, we've been planning it. You know, we plan it pretty much year round. It's an annual event. And, you know, this particular one got postponed for two years due to COVID. So, yeah, it's been a ton of work. You know, a lot of people involved. But, yeah, it's been great. Glad it can still happen. Like you said, there are lineup changes and stuff, and it's just yeah. great that it's happening still. Totally. Yeah, we're excited. And do you see this uh, continuing in the future, like Dark Side of the Con 5, 6, 7? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think we got a good thing going. You know, it's been growing so much each year. So, um, you know, we're excited to see what happens you know, in the future. Now, I know hundreds, if not thousands, of bands try and get on here. How do you pick, choose what bands uh, play the event? Uh, so we got a lot of applications. So we have got like a band application where people can apply on the site. And um, for, you know, for the headliners, we usually, you know, reach out through our connections of like booking agents and stuff. But, um, you know, it's kind of like I pretty much do all the band bookings myself. So, you know, we, we try to like do like, um, we've been trying to do a mix of uh genres a little bit you know obviously it's mostly industrial but we've been trying to like get some goth bands in there you know like sneak in a little bit of metal and alternative stuff but um you know because um you know if it were up to me it would be probably you know probably mostly like industrial bands probably but you know i also like you know the goth bands too so uh, you know we like to mix it up to kind of have like different varieties of uh alternative people yeah Awesome. Now, a lot goes into this. Do you have a team that helps you plan all this or just you? Or? Yeah, we got a crew. I mean, I feel like I personally wear t more hats than I should. So uh, I think that we probably uh, should have, you know, more staff than we do because it's, it's a little overwhelming sometimes. But, um, yeah, I mean, we definitely have, like, a pretty good crew, which is nice. And besides the con, what other events do you uh, host? We do uh, a couple events in New York, like, once a month. We have, like, a black parade party, which does really well. We, like do like a sold out show in Brooklyn like every month and we do uh, Cybertron in uh, New York and we also do a uh, 90s party in New York as well so yeah we stay busy and do you tour and do other festivals and events no I pretty much you know stay local you know I give so much props to bands that do tour because like I see what they go through I know it's a lot and you know I like to not be away from home for too long <laughs> but um yeah, you know, I see, I know that, you know, touring is a lot of work and um, it can be grueling. So, um, but yeah, you know, I like staying, you know, relatively close to home. Awesome. When you started Vampire Freaks years ago, did you ever think it would blow up to be what it is now? Um, you know, I kind of just take it one day at a time, you know, it's never like, oh yeah, I'm going to picture it. It's going to be this, you know, you know, it's something that I just keep working on, but you know, it's been going great. Awesome. If people want to find you online on social media, get a hold of you, how do they do that? Um, so to be honest, I'm actually not very active on social media lately, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, I have a Facebook, I have an Instagram, but, um, uh, we have, uh, you know, we're on, uh, vampirefreaks.com is the, our main site, which is a online clothing store. And, um, uh, you know, it's been, you know, doing really well. It's super busy. And, you know, there's a, you know, email address on there if you want to reach out to us. You know, we're, we're a small we're a small crew still. We're a small business, but it's been doing well. So, um, yeah, reach out to us through vampirefreaks.com. There's a contact info also on darksideofthecon.com. So, you know, any emails that go to us, you know, I see it. You know, feel free to reach out. Any questions, I'm happy to talk to people. Yeah, the social media can get pretty overwhelming after a while, right? Yeah, you know, I kind of just got burnt out on it, to be honest. Like, um, you know, I feel like I've I've spent a good amount of time, like, on social media, and I, I just felt like it was kind of a take, like, I just kind of felt like it was taking up too much of my time. <laughs> you know, I think social media is important because it, it does reach people, but at least for my own personal self, um, I've been, you know, really just focusing on, be more productive with you know more business type stuff but um so honestly if you want to contact me email is usually preferred you know over to messaging me on facebook i you know don't really see those too often to be honest <laughs> awesome well look forward to what events you have coming in the up in the future and everybody look him up cool awesome thanks guys